Hey everyone, we are returning to my hardcore and time-lapsed Minecraft. I've been taking it easy today since yesterday we had quite an eventful football game and I'm not even a football fan. But then last night I was sleeping off a long day outside of the house after I had come home and given the doggy a walkie and I woke up to some dumpies and stompies so it was like a game of Simon Says where I reciprocated exactly as to the certain specific amount that I had to encounter and experience. So, and, you know, it's like, <clears throat> it's kind of hard to articulate. So we are going to keep mining and looking for diamonds. I really need to like, you see, this is my bottleneck in Minecraft as of this moment. I know there's this one diamond in the floor, like behind me, but I need more diamonds so that I could, um, have a diamond pickaxe and a diamond axe and a couple of diamond shovels that I can enchant when the time comes. Um, I'm still not going to rush towards making the nether portal yet. First and primary goal is to farm Multiply the cows, multiply the bread, multiply the seeds, and stock up on bookcases so that when it comes time to build my nether base in this direction, then I can, um, yeah. I'm gonna let this doggy fight the Skeletor for me. Good doggy. And then I pick up some bones and I'm like, you wanna be my doggy? And the doggy's like, heck yes, I wanna be your doggy. And the doggy follows me into the base next to the other doggy. And then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go pick some bread and plant the seeds and feed my babies. Moo, 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 moo. And then, um, I guess I'm just gonna kind of waddle around and just see what kind of work I can do around here. I know that, um, yeah, feed babies, but also do some terraforming. I did commit to a plan that I was going to separate the chickens from the cows and have a separate chicken coop. And I haven't really been doing that because I've just been doing this, basically. But, um, I'm not even gonna go for a full chunk size for the chicken coop. I just want to clear out enough space to just move them out of the way but still be able to breed them and collect eggs and feathers if I need to. That was an extremely loud noise and I want you guys to note that because all I have been doing literally is just been sitting here commenting on this video. There is literally no reason at all whatsoever to make all that stompy noisy at all whatsoever. At all whatsoever and at all whatsoever. Literally no reason. 
So, I guess I'm just gonna have to just keep sitting here and just keep talking about this game in a very tonal manner that sets everyone else's nerves on edge because my nerves are on edge now because of the stompies. I feel like I'm doing something wrong by sitting here and talking about this video game and, you know, uploading it to a video YouTube channel for people to look at and be like, hey, you know what? This guy's alright. Or, this guy's stupid. I'm gonna tell him what he's doing wrong. Either way, it's fine with me. I mean, that's the whole point of the internet is to socialize one way and get a delayed feedback in the future. But, you know, some people are just immune to social feedback and they're just going to keep on, like, creating aggressive environments. And, you know, I have no problem reciprocating. That is the most... Un that is going to be the most um, horrible sticking point is that. I am quite meticulous in my methods. And as you can see, all I'm doing is just literally just sitting here, just literally just talking at the computer, just literally doing nothing, and other people are just literally making stompies and slammies. And that needs to stop. That needs to stop immediately. And that needs to stop permanently. Not for 48 hours, not for a week, permanently. Because if I'd had to grow up from ages infancy until teenage years being lectured at and hollered at and yelled at and beaten not to slam doors or stomp, then it stands the reason that it is a ubiquitous and uh, um, widespread life experience. Sort of like um, parents teaching their children to brush their teeth or um, going to school. People also get told not to extend aggressive vibrational energies such as stompies or slammies. Because when you normalize that, it becomes part of of my personality as well and then people have a problem with that when I become a product of my environment so if you don't want there to be none all you quite literally have to do is not to start none because if you start some there will be some and, in this case, there's going to be some wood being chopped. Because i got to get rid of any and all shade. And little bits and pieces here and there. So that there will be no zombies or skeletons coming to attack me when I come outside. To do some lovely, peaceful farming. And, uh, I think I still need to feed my babies for the day, but first I just wanted to get my morning terraforming out of the way. And, uh, I think all of this dirt is going to get put to you. Now you can see the land bridge that I've started where I put the sugar cane on. And that's going to keep extending because to me it's a dual purpose garden. It's a bridge across the ocean to any landmass that I may encounter. And here I'm feeding my babies for the day. But also that um, sand bridge that I'm building 
is going to double as a sugarcane farm and scaffolding slash structural housing for a future uh, rail line going in that direction. And yes, I will be replacing the um, the floor of the path slash the ceiling of the tunnel with dirt. So as you can see I've made a composter and once I have found enough iron we're going to make an auto composter that will do all this work for us. So there's nothing to worry about. It's just a way to pass the time. I'm really not wanting to run downstairs to the mines, but I guess I kind of have to. So, let's see what we can accomplish down here. Out of everyone's way. Because, see, if I'm in here playing video games, then I'm not out there standing in hallways and staring at people. Oh, looky here, we got more lava. Okay. I guess we're going to go in this direction then. <clears throat> we have got to find some diamonds eventually. I know we have some, but um, as I have explained earlier, it's good to have a reserve in supply. But one of the secret pros to doing all of this mining is that I am also opening up um, airspace, so to speak. I'm freeing up air blocks to replace the solid block. All of this wide open space can be converted into a cool maze or an office I don't know but um what you are seeing now and if I can maintain the consistency of this series is <coughs> going to be completely changed and refurbished and updated in a few months probably so let me try to feed my baby some more I did say I'm going to scale up the cow population and probably it won't be a few more episodes before I even begin to think about harvesting them for leather because um, I, I don't know I just want to see how full and thick I can fill this fence up but at the same time I'm kind of in a hurry to build these bookcases so I can begin work on my main base. I'm surprised the noise has died down. I thought they would be continuous, but maybe they were on a schedule and it had to be over when it was over. Well, I'm looking at our time, and it looks like we are close to the end of our session, so I would like to thank each and every one of you, as usual, for tuning in and putting up with this garbage. And, I mean, this has been progressive garbage, don't get me wrong, we've actually got a lot accomplished. Let me see what day we are at. Where's my uh, F3? Oh well. I'll put it in the description when I find out. Oh here we go. F day 53. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. And be sure you click like and subscribe and comment on my channel. Okay. I'm done.